In this video we're going to do an extension question on trig equations. We're asked to solve the equation for theta between 0 and 360 degrees. We've got 4 sine squared theta plus 5 sine 2 theta cos theta is equal to 4. I'm going to start just here and rewrite this using a trig identity. We know that sine 2 theta can be written as 2 sine theta cos theta. So all I'm going to do is substitute this in and show four workings. So we've got now 4 sine squared theta plus 5 lots of 2 sine theta cos theta multiplied by cos theta and that is equal to 4. If I just tidy this up I can write this now as 10 cos squared theta multiplied by sine theta. So we've got now 4 sine squared theta plus 10 cos squared theta multiplied by sine theta and that's going to be equal to 4. At this stage I've got a range of different approaches I could use. What I'm going to do is rewrite sine squared theta. We can write sine squared theta will be equal to 1 minus cos squared theta. If I do that, substituting this in, we've got 4 lots of 1 minus cos squared theta plus the 10 cos squared theta multiplied by sine theta and that's equal to 4. The reason I chose this particular approach is that I'm going to have 4 here and 4 here. So 4 on the left hand side, 4 on the right hand side which is going to cancel out. So if I just rewrite this, we've got 4 minus 4 cos squared theta plus 10 cos squared theta multiplied by sine theta is equal to 4. So cancelling the 4s, I can now write this as 10 cos squared theta multiplied by sine theta minus 4 cos squared theta and that will be equal to 0. I'm now going to factor this. I can take out 2 cos squared theta. So if I do that, 2 cos squared theta, then I will have now 5 sine theta minus 2 is equal to 0. So we can either now see that cos squared theta is 0 or 5 sine theta minus 2 is equal to 0. So we can write at this stage, therefore, now, if cos squared theta is equal to 0, we can say cos theta is equal to 0, or we've got sine theta will be equal to 2 over 5. Let's deal with the easier one to begin with. If we've got cos theta is equal to 0, we can say that theta will be equal to 90 degrees and 270 degrees. If we drew a quick sketch of the cosine curve, we can see now that the cosine curve between 0 and 360, we have now 0 at 90 degrees and 90 back from 360 and that gives us those special angles. At this stage we can say that theta is equal to the inverse sine of 2 fifths or if you like 0 0.4. This will give us a principal value for theta. So we can say principal value theta will be equal now to the inverse sine of 2 fifths in a calculator, making sure you're in degrees mode, shift mode 3, we'll take the inverse sine of 0 0.4 or 2 fifths, principal value of 23.578, so 23.578 dot 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 dot. We know that the sine curve is symmetric, so we can simply use symmetry to say that the next solution will be 180 minus the 23, let's write 23.578 dot dot dot. So I'll give these now to one decimal place. So we can say now that theta is going to be equal to 23.6 degrees, and that's one decimal place. And then we'll do now for 180. So if we do 180 minus our answer, we can say now that that will be 156.4. So we've got now theta, is equal to 156.4 degrees. So let's list these out and we'll start now with the 23.6 degrees. We've got now 90 degrees. We've got 156.4 degrees and then we have 270 degrees. And these two now are given to one decimal place. 
A level of accuracy is not stated, therefore I'm just going to round them to one decimal place. So now we found all the values of theta in the interval from 0 to 360 degrees. We got 23.6, 90, 156.4 and 270 degrees. That particular equation can be done a range of different ways. I've used these trig identities, but there are alternatives solved. So as long as you get these answers, you will be awarded the full marks if you show the workings.